some of our recent games between uh, Atlanta, Minnesota, Jacksonville, some of our ability to attack, uh, but most importantly defend. I think we've seen our last two games that when we lock it down defensively and we're, we're organized and we're knowledgeable of what, what the other team can do, it gives us a better chance to win the game. It's going to be a tough game. Uh, they, they're a pretty good defensive unit and they got some speed going forward. So. It's going, to be, uh, it's going to be a tough one for us, but one that I know that we can handle. It's going to be very different from the Jacksonville game where it was kind of wide open and we had a whole bunch of chances. I think our chances are going to be fewer and we're going to have to capitalize on them better. Defensively, they kind of sit with the back five, so they're going to be hard to break down, but uh, if, we can, uh, if we can work it through the midfield uh, effectively and then get it out wide, uh, I think we'll be successful. Players bring different things, so if we go with the combination of Don Smart and Dane Richards and Zach and Victor, Brad and Daniel, then it gives us a different look than maybe we were two months ago or four months ago. So in that way, it gives us a different attacking element. We got, we got two more defensive-minded center midfielders in there. Uh, I think that's helped a little bit, and we're still creating chances. So you would think if, with the shift of formation a little bit, we'd lose the chances. But as you can see in the last game against Jacksonville, I think we had 10, 12 breakaway-type opportunities. So I think it's been good. The biggest challenge is now picking yacht first 11 and then 18 for the travel group in the game day roster. And it's been difficult because some of the players have performed quite well in training and they're going to get left out. A lot of their game, I think it kind of was a breakdown all over the field. Uh, so I think, I think Keith's just done well coming in and, and uh, held his spots. No matter what happens, we're going to have 18 guys who are ready to go.